to another European? No, just kidding, just kidding, everyone. Hillary Clinton moving uh, even further to the left, outlining an unrealistic liberal economic agenda this morning right here in New York City. She is calling for a new focus on families in order to make our economy grow. Listen to this. Fair pay and fair scheduling, paid family leave and earned sick days, child care are essential to our competitiveness and our growth. And we can do this in a way that doesn't impose unfair burdens on businesses, especially small businesses. Okay, there she goes with fair pay. Total misnomer because that has been completely disproven since the White House failed to look oranges to oranges when they determined wages for men and women. Anyway, lots of other stuff there to chew on. Preschool, for example, uh, more time off for new parents. Hey, it all sounds really, really good, but it all costs money. She also once again attacked Wall Street throughout her hour-long speech. I want to bring in our entire panel. We have former chairman of the Senate Budget Committee, Senator Judd Gregg of New Hampshire. We have Fox News' political analyst and former Hillary advisor, Jamu Green. And we have Fox News' Ed Henry. I'm going to start with you, Ed. Good to see you. She is out there moving further and further to the left. Is this in part because of the success of Bernie Sanders. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I've been out on the road with Hillary Clinton and the crowd she gets are nowhere near the kind of energy, the size that we're seeing from Bernie Sanders. Her campaign says, look, they're focused on smaller events. They want to win Iowa, you know, because it's a caucus state, a voter by voter. Last time she obviously blew it against Barack Obama. So there's no doubt she's feeling pressure from the left. And that's what's animating this campaign on the Democratic side uh, is Bernie Sanders. And, you know, let's crack down on Wall Street. Uh, let's move the agenda to the left. So we heard some of that. I think on the flip side, though, what her campaign is telling me in private is they think, look, the Republicans are being pulled out on other issues, whether it's same sex marriage, whether it's Donald Trump on immigration, all important issues. But what Hillary Clinton wants to do from now through the primaries and then if she gets the nomination right through the general election, is talk about the economy, talk about the middle class. Republicans are going to complain about it. They're going to say it's unrealistic. But you know what? Barack Obama did the same playbook and he won twice. Well, I think the reality is Republicans also want to build the middle class and the economy is critical to Republicans as well. Senator Gregg, do they need to step it up when it comes to selling that message when you're going up against the likes of Hillary Clinton? Oh, absolutely, Trish. And I think you sort of hit the nail on the head, which is that the entire Democratic Party is being pulled very aggressively to the left. In fact, you've got Bernie Sanders, who ran as a socialist in Vermont. He's now running as a Democrat, uh, being the center of the party right now. And as a result, uh, the party is moving outside the mainstream of what I think is basic American philosophy on how you earn an income and make a living. Uh, Most Americans believe greatly that if they work hard, they'll get ahead. Uh, And the Republican Party has to stand for supporting that and doing it in a way that says to the folks who are going to work every day and working hard, we're going to give you opportunity to grow, Mm -hmm. to increase your income. Uh, But we're not going to do it by having the government make the decisions as to what your choices are. Yeah, it seems like there was a lot of heavy hand in terms of the government here today as we listen to her speech. Jamu, let me play this for you. Uh, I'd like to get your reaction. Here she is talking about building versus selling something. This was a direct hit on Wall Street. Watch this. The truth is the current rules for our economy do reward some work like financial trading, for example, much more than other work, like actually building and selling things. The work that has always been the backbone of our economy. To get all incomes rising again, we need to strike a better balance. If you work hard, you ought to be paid fairly. Of course, let's not forget, Jammu, if you actually want to build something, you need to get a loan to actually uh, put your business together to be able to go out and build that something that eventually gets sold. So she seems to be forgetting the critical and important role that financial services play in our economy overall. I, I don't think she's forgetting it, Trish. She actually did talk about increasing small business loans. And um, can we disagree with her that when you are building and selling and no longer able to share in the productivity and profitability of our economy, that something is broken here? That is how we became the strongest country on this planet. And financial traders in Wall Street have to recognize that paying your executives 300 times what their, the average American worker makes, that doesn't cut so what's the answer? It. You and what also doesn't that? cut it? 
You say, okay, you know, forget, forget shareholders. It's we as a government are going to say, you know what? You can't pay your CEO that much because we don't like the idea of it. I, I think what Hillary Clinton is doing is a different conversation. I, I certainly don't think that this is about moving to the left because of Bernie Sanders. This is about tying economic growth to the middle class and looking at what it's going to take for us to build on the progress that President Obama has had. But we have a lot of work left to do. And being 19th out of 24 countries when it comes to women in our labor force participation, that is a problem. And Hillary Clinton is the only candidate talking about this. Republicans are Johnny come lately to even yeah. the okay, world I, I middle class. Henry, he, you know, interesting, two points. This. I mean, in terms of building on President Obama's legacy, one thing that I was fascinated by in this speech today is that Hillary Clinton, who has been running beside President Obama today, Day was saying this recovery is not enough, uh, that, you know, wages are stagnant and really taking shots, it seemed, uh, at, at the current economy on President Obama's watch. That's going to be a challenge for her. The second point I'd make is in terms of the attacks that Trish was talking about on Wall Street, she's raising money for her, cam for her campaign from the same Wall Street folks that she's criticizing in the speech today. And that's why some of the rhetoric may ring hollow as well, because let's not forget, as she talks about stagnant wages, last year she and her husband brought brought in $25 million. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you can't relate to the middle class, but it certainly makes it harder to be a champion. Of yeah, yeah, Senator Gregg, I mean, in terms of what Ed's saying about running on this uh, Obamanomics, uh, you know, platform, uh, saying that we need to take it even further. I mean, you look at the last eight years, and I don't think anybody would tell you they've been pleasant. We've seen anemic growth. We're barely adding jobs. The jobs that we're adding, 200000 if you're lucky a month, they're not even paying. You know, the problem here is that you've got a government that genuinely believes that government creates jobs, and you've got Hillary Clinton running on basically that philosophy. Uh, government doesn't create jobs. It doesn't create dynamic economies. What creates jobs and dynamic economies are giving people an incentive to go out and invest, take a risk, and create a job, which creates more jobs. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, this type of economics simply isn't understood uh, by the left in this country. It certainly isn't understood by this administration, which is trying to regulate, excessively regulate the marketplace and overtax the marketplace. And if Hillary Clinton is going to do move down that road, as she appears to be, and in fact is moving down that road even more aggressively than this administration is, then you're going to see this economy be stifled. Uh, it's not going to grow at the rate that it should grow because productivity is tied to people willing to go out and take a risk and they're not going to be willing to take a go out and take a risk if they know the government's going to come in and try to manage their life manage their choices on how they invest and then when they make money take most of it away yeah now hear her uh well put senator greg thank you so good to see you there up in new thank hampshire you. jamu thank you and ed good to see a you, pleasure Trish. to all have right. you here yeah. i'll be here all set. week so maybe Excellent. i'll come back well i hope you do i look good to see you <laughs>